We are here in La Barca, Jalisco, in a bar restaurant called El Arroyo de Comala. This is an icon in the Mexican mixology because in this place, la cazuelita was invented by Don Antonio Barrioso in 1946. And we are about to meet with his granddaughter, Don Angeles Barrioso, and his grand-grandson, who is now the bartender, and he will prepare a cazuelita for us. Let's go and try it. Estamos con Don Ángeles Barrioso, que es la nieta de Don Antonio Barroso o Antonio Barrioso, que fue el creador, el que inventó la cazuelita. Cazuela voladora. La cazuela voladora, voladora. que ahora todo el mundo la conoce como la, la cazuelita. cazuelita. Pero este es el lugar más importante para este cóctel que se llama la cazuelita o la cazuela voladora. Make a cazuelita, you need six ingredients. Bitter orange, orange, lime, grapefruit, tequila, even if originally it was made with rum, and Pepsi. That's very important because some people think like the cazuelita has grapefruit soda, but no, originally it was Coke soda. Estábamos platicando que Don Toño vivió más de 105 años. Sí. Entonces, eh, una persona muy longeva. Ajá. Y ahora usted es la encargada de llevar esto adelante sí. con, su, con sus hijos. Sí. De hecho, Perfecto. pues yo aquí me he criado toda mi vida. Desde que nací, he estado siempre aquí. Eh, don Ángeles ha eh, prácticamente siempre vivido alrededor de la cazuelita uh -huh. y pues es un honor estar con usted aquí. No, al contrario, Estoy muy agradecida. Aquí. There are many questions usually when it comes to Cantarito and Cazuelita. A lot of people think it's the same drink, but it's not. There are many differences. The first one, and very evident to the, to the side, is the Cantarito is, looks more like a glass and it's a tall, when the Cazuelita looks more like a bowl and it's a shallow. What matters the most is the material. It's clay and it's ideal to keep it as fresh and as cooling as possible. It holds like for longer term. Second thing, the Cantarito is usually made with grapefruit soda when the cazuelita is originally was made with Coke soda. You can find plenty of places where you can have a really good and yummy Cantarito. It has grapefruit, orange, lime juice, a pinch of salt, grapefruit soda, and of course tequila. And you can see like the many guys working and squeezing the, the juices almost from scratch. That's the freshest ones. <laughs> Last, the cazuelita was actually invented first than the cantarito, and the cantarito got inspired in the cazuelita. The best bit is not just the flavor, not just it's refreshing, not just has tequila in it, but also you can share it. They have by the liter, 14 liters, 20 liters, and you go crazy while you share with all your friends, in which you can listen to live music, because it's an amazing experience. It was a fantastic experience to be here in this iconic place, El Arroyo de Comala, and get to meet the family of Don Toño, who was the creator of La Cazuelita. It's just impressive to see these people preparing La Cazuelita, which is known in all the world, but actually born here. So that's why we wanted to bring it to you. So now go and enjoy a Cazuelita.